Hi everyone, I'm Susie and welcome to this adulting thing. Welcome to my channel where we're going to be discussing all the problems and struggles of being an adult. Today we're going to be talking about holidays and it's such a relevant topic right now because as you can see I've decided to ditch the Udi as much as I love it but it is so so hot in the UK right now it is baking and we live in a flat where we have a lot of windows and I'm sat here even in my sports bra and my shorts and I'm sweating so um yeah I decided to ditch the Udi for today but you know what I don't want to complain because like British people are just the worst they will complain when it's raining and it's miserable because they want some sun and some heat and then as soon as the sun comes they're complaining it's too hot it's way too hot like we need some shade and i get it not everyone loves being hot all the time but don't spend the year wishing for sun and then complaining when you get it so even though i'm sat here and i'm hot I'm fine with it. I embrace it because I know how quick the summer goes and soon enough it'll be winter and it'll be raining and snowing and I'm just not here for that. When the sun's out, I feel so much better. There's something about the impact of the sunshine. It makes me feel more positive, more energetic, just more excited for the day ahead. When I wake up and it's raining, it just makes you feel like you can't be bothered. All you want to do is go back to bed and hide under the covers, get Netflix on, watch something and just not deal with the day. But when the sun's out, it actually makes me feel like, oh, today could be a really good day. So recently we came back from a holiday in Salou. Me and my boyfriend went to Salou for just a couple of days. We did the Woucher mystery deal, which if you haven't heard of it, is essentially you pay 99 pounds, you tell Woucher what dates you wanna travel and they will generate you a holiday. And I thought that was so, so cool. Like that really excited me organizing that because you don't have to think about where you're going. You don't have to research hotels, any of that. You just say, this is what I wanna go and they will deliver something to you. It does sound risky. However, they do say that you'll always have a minimum of a three-star hotel and you will have a private bathroom. So for me, when I'm on holiday, I do like my creature comforts. It's probably why I never really did the whole gap year traveling thing because the idea of wandering around with a backpack on, not being able to shower for days, it just does not appeal to me. With this voucher holiday, it kind of felt fairly low risk and ultimately we're only going for two days. So I thought, well, worst case scenario, we'll go and it's not that great and it'll be fine. It's two days, but actually it was amazing. We had such a nice time. It was just nice to get away, to see something else, to see some sand, oh, to enjoy the sun and to not have to think about doing any work. It was honestly just amazing. But the problem is with holidays is they are very, very addictive. Once you've been on one, the second you touch down on that tarmac, you're thinking, where can I go to next? When is my next holiday going to be? So before we'd even gone to Salou, I had booked our next holiday, which is gonna be in September. So we've decided to go to Cape Verde. I really like doing a full on beach holiday in the summer. It's a bit of a cliche, but I do. I, I don't mind the idea of adventure holidays and things like that. But at the same time, if I'm going on holiday, I really, really want to go and relax. I also like a little bit of a balance though. I like to be able to go and do more maybe active things like in Cape Verde there's a zip line that I really really want to do or when we went to Lanzarote last year we went on this buggy tour and went to a water park and all that sort of stuff. I love doing things like that but I like to sort of schedule them in so the rest of the time can be more chill and there's no set itinerary or anything like that. I think holidays are so so important and it's one of those where I kind of think, oh, I'm back, I wanna book the next one and the next one, but you crave that rest and that break. Even when I've got time off from work, if I am in the same city and I can see my workplace or I can see my desk with all of my notes and my laptop on, etc., when I see those things, I'm not switched off. I'm not in relaxation mode. It's still there in the back of my mind. I'm still thinking about going back to work, what needs to be done. And when you're away from all of that, it completely just ugh, clears your mind. It just gives you that time to reset and to actually take some time for yourself. And I think as well, it's a chance to see other parts of the world. I think 
the majority of us live in a very small world it's just how it is for me i live in this flat and i go to the gym i might visit my family i might visit a few of my friends but my life operates in quite a small area and when you think how big the world is when we went to even salu that's just in spain it's not that far but going to these different places and seeing that there's just a whole different way of life there's a whole world out there that you can see and it almost makes you feel like you might be missing out the work to holiday ratio in our lives is very biased towards work we spend a lot of time at work and we don't really have that much time to enjoy ourselves and enjoy holidays and i think going away really gives you that time to just explore to just have fun to live in a luxurious hotel for a week or go to a water park sometimes it's exactly what you need and i'm really bad because if i'm on instagram and if i'm scrolling or i'm on tiktok and i'm seeing all of these gorgeous places like the maldives or bali or thailand it just makes me want to book something else why is it that as adults we have this desperate need to just get away and to just be working towards the holiday because it gives us something to look forward to once i've got that holiday in the calendar you best believe i've got my countdown set up i've got my cape verde countdown set up i think right now it's about 112 days and seeing that countdown is like come on you can do it you're nearly there it really helps me to push through especially on those weeks where you're just struggling where you're just tired and everything is just sort of getting on top of you at the past couple of weeks for me have been so so busy I've just been oh my head has just been all over the place I've been trying to take on so much and I feel so overwhelmed by it even once I got back from Salou I got back on Wednesday and on Thursday I was doing like a crazy long day at the gym and it just it just never stops you have this holiday for a brief period and then before you know it you're back and you're having to do the same crazy days again and it just goes over so quick they do say time flies when you're having fun and that's genuinely what it feels like when you're on holiday as adults we are meant to be sensible we are we're not meant to be spending loads of money on holidays and all this stuff and to be honest i will say generally i am quite sensible especially when it comes to money i am quite a sensible person but this year I really said I just want to have a bit more enjoyment I really want to pay a little bit extra or maybe do an extra holiday and just just enjoy it because I think we can get so bogged down by the cost of things and yes we are in a cost of living crisis I am aware but at the same time you don't want to feel like you can't do things just because of money I spent more on this Cape Verde holiday than probably I usually would on a holiday but I thought, you know what? We deserve it. We deserve this break. And it's kind of almost seeing it as investing in yourself, investing in your self-care. Like if you need to spend a little bit extra to go on the holiday, you really, really want to go on, provided that you're not being crazy about it and you can actually afford it, then what's the harm in doing it? And it's the excitement of buying the holiday clothes. I love holiday shopping. I love it. I need to actually start thinking about my holiday shopping list for Cape Verde but I make sure that I have got a nice, fresh, new wardrobe. You need to get a new bikini when you go on holiday and maybe some new sandals. And it's all part of the excitement, even arranging things like your travel insurance. To me, that's exciting because you're saying like, oh, not long now, getting that travel insurance sorted, ready for my holiday. And you're at your happiest when you're looking forward to something. I think it was Mel Robbins. If you haven't heard of Mel Robbins, she's amazing. She's like a motivational speaker. And she said you are happiest when you're kind of thinking about the future and what's coming up. Because you've got things to look forward to. It makes sense. When you think about something really exciting that's coming up in your life, It even thinking about my holiday now, it makes you smile. It makes you feel good. And sometimes you need that, you need that as a little pick-me-up. So this is your sign, guys. If you haven't booked your holiday yet for this summer, then I think you should get it in. I think you should get it in. And maybe think outside the box, kind of like how we did with the voucher holiday. We were just like, just tell us where to go and we'll go. Because Salou, yes, I've heard of it. Would I think about booking a holiday there? Probably not. But it's that adventure. It's that feeling of excitement. I feel like that's what I want to have more of in my life 
and I think that's what makes everyone so much happier and it just makes you feel like you're doing bits doesn't it really it's like you're going somewhere completely different that you wouldn't have even thought of going yourself it's it's pretty cool if you have booked your summer holiday I would love to know where you're going because I'm nosy like that and I really like to always see where everyone else has chosen someone I saw on Instagram today has gone to the Maldives and oh, I'm so jealous. The Maldives is like my dream destination. I would love to go to the Maldives. It's definitely, definitely on my bucket list. But yeah, drop it in the comments. Tell me where you're going on your holiday and I can't wait to see where you guys are off to. Right, people, I'm gonna leave it there, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's made you excited for your summer holidays because my smile is a lot bigger now than from when I started. So if you have liked what you've seen today, if you want to check out some of my other content, then please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you again next week.